Do you speak Filipino? Conte. Hi, I'm Christine, and I've been teaching the Filipino language to foreigners for more than 10 years now. Welcome to my channel, Learn to Speak Filipino for Tourists and Expat. That is one question. Do you speak Filipino? Dreaded by my students, especially in the basic Filipino class. And especially when I'm around. Why? Okay. Because if they say, oh, oh, which is yes, it's expected. They know a lot or marami and they know a lot of words. Okay, so the, the answer to be safe, to be on the safe side, but I taught them too, to answer on the safe side is to answer, Conte. Do you speak Filipino? Conte. That means a little or a little. So, to be on the safe side, <laughs> when they ask you, do you speak Filipino? You answer, Conte. I've just introduced to you two words related to counting quantity and numbers in Filipino. This lesson about words related to numbers, counting, and quantity uh, is related to counting or to that lesson on counting one up to ten in Filipino. So we have conte, which means um, little. Marami, which means a lot. Okay, so um, if you'd like to recall or review the lesson on saying thank you, uh, we use the word marami to say maraming salamat or thanks a lot. Okay, now, when something is lacking, okay, we say kulang. Okay, kulang means lacking. Now, when something is excessive, in Filipino, we say sobra. Okay? So, sobra is excessive, and the opposite of sobra is lacking, okay? which is, in Filipino, is kulang. Now, you are familiar with tama, okay? Uh, in the other video about reactions okay, to con during conversations. So, tama has another meaning, okay, which is exact, not only, well, it says tama is correct in, in the other video as a reaction. When it comes to quantity, counting, or numbers, you, and you'd like to express sufficient or just right, then you use the word tama. Okay, so let's run down those words and then we pronounce them as we review them. So you say konte and then you say marame and then you say kulang and then sobra and then tama. Okay, so one expression that Filipinos use when it comes to numbers, especially if it's a little, okay? if it's a little on, if it's on the smaller number or konte, konte side, is the expression lang. Okay? Lang is a derivative from the word lamang. Okay? which means just or only, okay? So instead of using lamang, which is the longer version, Filipinos, in conversation especially, add its derivative lang, okay, to those words, not, could be numbers, okay, or the word konte. They add the lang to express only or the number is small or the quantity is small. So, let's go back to my question in the introduction. Do you speak Filipino? Now, let's add lang to konti. So, konti lang. So, you say 
konti lang. Now, that means you speak Filipino but you speak just or only a little Filipino. Safest answer, right? So they don't quiz you. Okay? Or they don't test you as to vocabulary. Now, when, for example, you'd, you'd like to answer uh, using the numbers because the question is about quantity. For example, to recall the number word for one in Filipino. You know what the number one is in Filipino? Well, if you answered isa, then yes, that's correct. So for example, only one. So you say isa and then you add lang. So you say isa lang. Only one. Alright? So lang could be added okay, to emphasize the smallness of the number. So for example, only one or just one. So you say isa lang. However, if you'd like to express a lot, for, exa uh, for example, gratitude or appreciation, you also, you use the word marame, which means a lot. So in, in our previous lesson about thank you, we see thanks a lot or maraming salamat. So that's all for today in our video about vocabulary related to numbers and counting. I hope you continue practicing counting 1 to 10 and using the vocabulary that we learned today.